So muscle tissue, what's similar about all of it and then what are the different types? Um, first of all, muscle tissue, what defines that tissue is that it can contract. What this means is shorten. Um, when it shortens, that allows your entire muscle organ to contract. And this is true whether it's various types. Um, so something else that is similar that, that goes along with that contraction is it's excitable. So remember excitable membranes um, are neurons were a type of excitable membrane, excitable cells. Muscle tissue contains excitable cells, excitable cells or excitable membranes, meaning what? There are voltage gated channels. That's what that means. Um, and this is gonna be important for contraction. They also, so the other thing was that it contracts. This is then gonna allow for movement. Movement can be various types of movement. This can be movement of your body, your skeleton. This can be movement of your um, heart. So contractions of your heart. This can be movement of food through your digestive system. Various types of movement. Okay, what are the three types of muscle tissue? Can you name them? Skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. These are the three types. Um, so I'm gonna briefly talk about each one and then we'll be focused for the rest of the week on skeletal muscle. So um, let's go through each of these. Actually starting over on the right side here and bring up a whole bunch of pictures. So here is smooth muscle. It is um, the smoothest looking from far away. There are these spindle shaped cells that are also kind of slug-like slug like that was kind of hard to say um so when they contract they kind of shorten individually like that so these all have one nucleus so spindle shaped one nucleus per cell seems normal right it's pretty normal um what else this is going to be involuntary so remember our autonomic nervous system or visceral nervous system. This is the effector, the target for that branch, one, one of the targets for that branch of the nervous system. So digestive tract, having digestion occur, um, the, many of the internal cavities that you have, um, various, um, some sphincters to allow for digestive enzymes, for other secretions to occur the walls of hollow organs. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for smooth muscle for now. We won't get to a whole lot later. Cardiac muscle is located in your heart. This is branch tissue. So you can see that in this image here, it's branch. That's gonna be important for um, how the heart contracts as a unit. The other part is these intercalated discs. That is what's shown right along here. There are gap junctions located there that allows electrical signals to pass from one cell to the next. So we won't talk a whole lot in detail about this this semester. When you go to learn about the heart, you will want to remember that these cells are closely connected electrically via these intercalated discs, which you actually can see um, right there. This is also striated. You can see striations, stripes. We'll come back to what those are. We've also got one nucleus, of course. And lastly, um, we've also got involuntary. This is, of course, our heart. Beat. All right. Lastly, skeletal muscles will be the focus of this week. This is, um, so some, some structures here, I guess we've got striations that you can see very clearly here. We'll look at those a lot more carefully. We've got multiple nuclei, weird. Um, this is because the cells are very long. They fuse together during development. So it's actually multiple cells that fuse together, makes skeletal muscles very, very long. That allows them to contract your entire muscle organ all at once. Boom, whole bicep all at once. So these um, are involved in right body movement. 
movement of your body and your limbs. Um, also posture, stabilizing joints. Um, stabilization, producing heat, right? As you shiver. Um, yeah, so these will be the focus. And then last thing, I guess this is voluntary, should be obvious already. So this again is your somatic motor division that is controlling these muscles. There are some exceptions to that being some reflexes, some somatic reflexes that we'll come back to. 